Now, amidst the rising tensions in the South China Sea, the United States will be sending two aircraft carriers and several other warships to the disputed region in the coming days. While the military exercise was planned earlier, it comes at a very strategic time. And this move comes just a day after China was seen flexing its muscles in the disputed territory. Now, the USS Nimitz and USS Ronald Reagan carrier strike groups will be conducting dual carrier operations in the area. The U.S. Navy has said that the drills are to support a free and an open Indo-Pacific region. The Paracel and Spratly Islands are a disputed part of the South China Sea with several countries laying claim on it. Even though China lays claim on more than 80% of the region, the United States has long accused Beijing of trying to militarize the islands. Now, yesterday, the Pentagon had criticized this move, saying that the military exercises are the latest in a long string of actions to assert unlawful maritime claims. And Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has also slammed China, calling the moves as highly provocative. Pompeo has said, and I quote him here, that the People's Republic of China's military exercise in disputed waters of the South China Sea is highly provocative. We oppose Beijing's unlawful claims. Now, China has, however, dismissed the U.S. criticism of its drills, instead going ahead to suggest that the United States was to blame for the increasing tensions.